just <laughs> this is such a ridiculous. <laughs> I know. What are, why are we doing this? <laughs> All right, uh, Lil Pump. <laughs> Lil Pump as president. What's up, you're watching Hive Mind, the most buoyant show on the internet. My name is Riley, and as always, I am joined by my country fried co-host, Graydon. Welcome to the show. <laughs> <laughs> we are back with another tier list, this time with an election season twist. This is Rappers, Rappers as, as President's, President's tier list. list. Obviously, this video is about to be purely hypothetical. Right. I mean, most of the people that we're talking about are either under the qualifying age, not a U.S. citizen, or they can't run for other reasons. <laughs> exactly. So don't take anything we say in this tier list very seriously. We're surely not going to. Right. But before we get into the tier list, uh, like the video, subscribe if you want to see more. Join the Discord at the link in our description. And also, go to HiveMindTV.com if you want to pick up some cool merch that we dropped recently. Uh, let's get into our first uh, candidate here. Oh. <laughs> What's the president song? I don't know. I think God. it's We Will We Will, will Rock You. Too. This is gonna really expose us for not knowing shit about like politics. Well, that's fair, but that I don't think anybody thought that we were pundits of any sort. I know, I'm just gonna really prove it to those who were holding on hope for <laughs> Right, that we were some sort of genius. Hey, maybe they could be on NBC. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. All right. First candidate, Big Sean. Big Sean. Oh uh, um, a short man. A short, is he? I think how he short is, is he? Isn't that the whole thing about his name? Oh, maybe. That's how he I must, always imagined it. Like five, six or something? Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, okay. Uh, I've never seen him in real life. We do live in Detroit. Big Sean the Don. I've seen him in real life. I saw him at the grocery store the other day. Did you? Played it cool. Didn't even want to draw any attention. <laughs> nice. you know what I mean? <laughs> that's cool. Uh, I do know that Big Sean has done a lot for Detroit. He comes back. He does the turkey drive in November. He did the posse track on his new number posse one album. Posse track. Shout <laughs> out Sada Baby. Shout out 42 M. Doug. <laughs> Shout out M. really put M on. Yeah, put M on uh, there. Honestly, you know what? He's I like a, a guy from the Midwest, too. He's a good-natured guy, and I think I would like him more as a president than as a rapper. <laughs> yeah, that, you know? and I would like him more than the current president, too. But. Right. He's got a good demeanor for yes. being president because I think he's, like, a cool-headed guy. He's, like, jacked now, mm -hmm. you know? Pretty. He's got discipline. He's good at enunciation. Oh, yeah. Almost comes to a fault in the rap. Definitely. League, but might help him as an orator. I you know think he I mean? would be charismatic on the, yeah. on the podium. No, what do they wow, call it? I didn't miss a beat. I think it's a, a podium. Pulpit, I think. Um, pedestal, <laughs> pedestal. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go a solid A tier for Big Show. Yeah, he's an A. You I don't so? see anything that makes him like puts him up there on S, you know, all time yeah. president level. Mm -hmm. But definitely better than two of the last three presidents. All right, let's move on to the next one. Uh, Cardi B. She's actually thrown her hat kind of yeah. in the political ring, which this makes this one a little bit difficult, but. Um, it makes it all that easier to, for me to imagine her. We're, I'm thinking S tier for Cardi. Like, yeah. think of that Oval Office. Mm. You're walking in there as the Venezuelan ambassador, and yeah. Cardi B just like rips you up. Oh yeah, just reads you. Reads you. <laughs> yeah, I feel like definitely she would swag the Oval Office out. I also feel like it would be a breath of fresh air to hear her on TV addressing people because oh, she'd be yeah. like. Totally off the cuff. Co coherent. She, she'd be like joking around. <laughs> Smart. Like, right. <laughs> she, I don't know. I I think she actually kind of knows her stuff too, which I think is helpful. Yeah. Helpful absolutely. in imagining it. Yeah. I can picture her being like very no nonsense. Mm -hmm. Just like calling it how it is. Well, I think nonsense would be a part of it still. I think it'd be like <laughs> no previous nonsense, like no nonsense we've ever seen before. Gotcha. You know? Yeah. It's unprecedented nonsense. Right. Uh, yeah. I'm going to, I think it, I'm in between A and S for her. I think I got to go S. All right. right. Let's go S for Cardi. That's fair. She, um, I would follow her if she's leading me. Yeah. All right, next we got the baby. She could blindly lead us into war, and I'd follow her. That's what I'm saying. Right. <laughs> the baby. Um, um, I'm worried about foreign policy with the baby. He seems to start a lot of fights, mm -hmm. or at least <laughs> engage in them when provoked. Uh, I'm worried about the ego thing here. He's going to stick his chest out a lot. Yeah, um, but I see that being good for uh, domestic affairs. Yeah, definitely. You know, various, uh, maybe nationalistic. Ooh, he like crack down on people, I think. <laughs> I think that, yeah, and he's got a presidential smile. Let's not even and beat right. around the bush there, you know? So, uh... I feel like he'd get all the murals of all the other presidents taken down and just have pictures of himself, like oh, different photos yeah. of himself. Yeah, I, I'm all for that, too. I think that... 
yeah, he's a good looking guy. That's I mean, he I'd like to see him in the suit and everything. I'm mm-hmm. sure there's a video of him doing something. But sort I could of see I do imagine foreign affairs being a big issue here. Yeah. Trade. Oh yeah. Any sort of conflict, the Middle East would be yeah. tough with the baby. Yeah, because it, it wouldn't even like that's the funniest thing about the baby is like he doesn't even he skips the talking shit phase. Right. He goes straight to, to fisticuffs, as, yeah. they say. <laughs> as they say. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna go a solid. I'm gonna go a D here because I think we it would end up in a lot of It'd be a crisis president. Yeah, crisis president, lots of war. Uh, if you want to call it war, I think just right. fist fights mm-hmm. mostly. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna go with D for it to baby. Is okay, that D. fair? Yeah, I think D's fair. Okay. All right. Next one. Well, we have a Canadian citizen. Kind of an issue. Um, what's the asterisk here? How's he get? Like, the number of one hits he's had in the U.S. allow him to run here? I don't know. There's some way around it. he find his way. He's yeah. about the age. He's getting there. 35? Yeah. He's probably only so. 32, 33. I don't know. I thought he was, like, 40. No, he's not. Oh, that's his producer's name. 40. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> yes, exactly. Um, yeah, Drake, other than that, honestly, I think he's too petty to be president. Oh, yeah. And... Yeah, you got to have a steady relationship yep. if you're a president, too, and then Drake doesn't. No, he's be in his feelings. Like There'd be, we, like, ladies in and out of the White House mm. and all these, like, oh, it'd be bad. The music videos would be amazing, I have to say. Probably, like, the yeah. drone footage of the White House, him in On the Air White Force House. One. It would feel natural. <laughs> like, he'd be drinking champagne in the Oval Office. Well, what's he, he calls his house in Toronto the embassy. Something, yeah. yeah. something like that. But I do think that it would be a problem that the American citizens wouldn't know whether they, they're getting R&B Drake or rap Drake, and we need consistency from a president. It would happen, like, by this... It'd be... Sometimes he'd be in R&B mood, and we'd mm-hmm. go through some things, and then other times you'd get rap Drake, and he'd come in... Yeah, and he'd, he'd be firing shots, he's... And then know. Justin Trudeau would probably have to put him in his place. <laughs> Trudeau's yeah. got bars. I don't know. I think that... Drake, I feel like Drake would be good, but yeah, the emotions would get the best of him. Drake would be a good character president in that he'd be charismatic on TV. He'd probably get along with a lot of the other leaders. He seems to be like mm. have enough charisma to really handle that. But I do think that the in my feelings Drake would be a problem. It would be a problem, a huge problem. But this is a great chance to get Wheezy for VP. Oh, <laughs> which would be sick. I think there's a lot of people here who might name Wheezy, but as right. the VP. But um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with a C here. What do you think? Solid C. Solid C. Yeah. All right. C for Drake. Um, cool. The next. oldest guy on the list. <laughs> next, we got Eminem. Oh, I'm just kidding. The oldest guy on the list right here. <laughs> Eminem, uh, he is <sighs> angry. Angry is the man. number one thing. Mm-hmm. Angry. Um, Don't want to see that out of your president. He's one of the strange people who has, he's spoken up politically Mm-hmm. And his fan base just kind of like chooses to ignore it. Mm-hmm. His fan base is one way and he speaks the other way. It's almost like, you know, it's like folk artists in like the 70s and 80s. Yeah. Like they were all, you know, singing these big liberal songs and these people out in the country were like, well, God damn, that sounds nice. <laughs> I like Jackson Brown. <laughs> yep. Same with, yeah, Leonard Skinner. Um, yeah. So, Eminem would be a terrible president. Oh, yeah, think. awful. Mm. Be the worst. I'm trying to think of like one facet of the presidency he could be good at. Um, I think that he, his speeches would be quick. You know, <laughs> he'd be on TV. It'd be it'd be quick. He'd just kind of go through it. But I think he'd the just state be, of the union. <laughs> he'd just <laughs> say the thing. Quick, quick well, yeah. It's like a three thirty, like three minutes thirty seconds, and it's over with. But I don't know. I think that the biggest problem we'd have with with Eminem is he takes a lot of shit personally. Yeah. He's kind of always focused on the, his narrative and legacy and like why don't people like me and kind of like the current guy a little bit. So Yeah, he'd be better than the current guy but Definitely. Um, <laughs> if he got like imagine him being like questioned at con- in front of Congress and he just says it so fast they can't pick it up. Oh yeah. I feel bad for what are those people? The typists. The type the, or the, they got a name. <laughs> they got a name. Those people. <laughs> people have at the transcript people. Yeah. They I feel bad for them keeping up. <laughs> but <laughs> Uh, yeah, I feel like he'd be trying to prove things that we don't yeah. really need. He'd, like, fire his own vice president or something or get... Mm, yeah. yeah. So I'm going to go with a D here. I think he's a D president. I want to go F. You want to go F for Eminem? I want to go F. M's in the bot, bot basement for me. All right, let's go. Eminem in the basement. <laughs> <laughs> all right. And we'd probably finally learn about all those demons in his closet, and oh, we don't want to know. Exactly. I've been told we don't want to know. Exactly. Um, all right, 50 Cent. Oh, in the same vein. 
Yeah. Um, Fifty Cent For is some someone. Reason, I'm thinking he's so much better. He's well, yeah, but but not because he's even he's a mix of like Drake is nowhere near as petty as 50 Cent. No. 50 Cent will buy out all of Ja Rule's uh-huh. like, front row tickets and stuff. He'd be great for the economy, though. He, oh, yeah. Great businessman. He'd be start up, starting up stuff here, starting up yeah. stuff here. He'd be like the FDR or something. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> He'd be letting Musk build electric trains everywhere. And he could handle a lot. I mean, dude's yeah. been shot a bunch of times, been and he's still good. Like, he's got his fingers in a bunch of different pies. Yeah, definitely. Uh, don't know what that expression means, but fingers in pies it mm-hmm. means like you're in like multiple occupations, right? <laughs> Does it? Yeah, I think like wears many just, hats is better than fingers and pies. I like what? Why would you want fingers and pies? Sounds fingers and pies. Fingers and pies. All right, whatever. Uh, fingers and pies fifty. That's what they call them. Uh, you know what? I think that there's a chance he could actually do it. I'm going to go with a B for 50 Cent. Yeah, he belongs right in the B. We'll cover all bases. Cover all the bases <laughs> first. I like doing that. All right, 50 Cent B. Uh, Don't know what you heard about 50. No. Uh, Does claim us 50? <laughs> Jack Harlow. <laughs> <laughs> young Midwest, young guy from Louisville runs for president. Mm. Mm, I don't know. Jack Harlow would be... He'd probably be a better president than we have currently. He's a, he's politically active. He speaks yeah. up. Um, his double XL has conscious songs. Yeah, yeah. Conscious his, that was style. super conscious. Um, and also, I think that you know, guys from Ohio and Kentucky, those are not necessarily the best presidents, but a lot of presidents have come from Ohio. Representative of the country as a whole. Yeah. Um, he's got that homegrown spirit. He can, doesn't take himself too seriously. He seems poised. He got Lou Will kicked out the bubble for going to Magic City or whatever. Oh, really? Mm. I don't pay attention to basketball. Suspended but. for a few games, but like, mm. go Nuggets. Um, right. Yeah, I think for maybe those tendencies, maybe the clubbing tendencies would get too much to him. But oh, he's we've, And we've had presidents that party. Yeah. And the party presidents, I like. I, I mean... Man, I don't I don't like Bill Clinton, but he did play sax on Arsenio, you know. Mm-hmm. So he, there's like some good. Th- I think there's some likable JFK, things. Like pr- total party president. party guy. <laughs> yeah, I feel like Jack Harlow. Uh, I don't know. He's growing on me as a rapper, and yeah. I feel like in my mind right now as a president, yeah. I feel yeah. like he could really do it because well. he he just you know he says a lot of funny things and he doesn't take himself too seriously. He knows how to use the internet. Yeah, that would be good. Midwest guy. I'd say I'm going to put him just above Drake. Give him a B. Let's give him a B. I think that's fair. Jack Harlow, B. Just what we need, another white president. (laughs) Jeez. All right. Uh, All right. Inevitably. President West. President West. (laughs) Former President Um, West. This one, I want to just opt out on the actual conversation of whether he'd be a good president. I just don't, you know... It's I, I don't know what to say about it. Um, yeah, I'd go F. I think we'd be in war or something, or some something very bad. I think could happen. He's I don't I can't give him an F. Here's why though. In practice, the I feel like the reason we would give him an F here is because it's closer to the truth. He wants to be president. None of these other people asked for True. this. He's asking for it, and that's why I'm like, no, no, no. <laughs> like, don't, don't make him the president. But at the same time, it's like if I'm looking at him against these other people, purely hypothetically, for fun, <laughs> there are some things that I have to give him some props on. You Creativity. Know? Creativity. Also, he gets along great with, like, billionaires and stuff. And scary people. Scary people. He can kind of, he somehow has a bridge to them, probably That's via, crazy. like, sociopathy or whatever. Mm. But also, the other thing is... Some sort of crazy pipeline. Kanye says something, and then two years later, it makes more sense. Yeah. The hysteria that surrounds whatever Kanye, like, is doing, his rant of the of the year or whatever album promo cycle he's on, gets swallowed up in this, oh, man, Kanye's losing his mind. You hear what he said? You hear what he said? Two years later, you look back at some of those things on their face, and they make sense. And so, to me, that's something that is valuable in the president. It's like having the foresight to kind of understand things a little bit ahead. I can't stop picturing him doing a State of the Union, like, in that Def Jam poetry style. Mm, yep. Mm. Just waiting for claps and like in a pink polo with his collar popped. That would be fly. That'd be like his portrait. I want to give him a C. <sighs> I, it was F or Z or F or S for me. F or S. So C makes sense. All right, that's fine. <laughs> Let's put him in the C. 
Got it. The it, logic of this is what I He's mean. really on balance, too, which is crazy. Don't vote for Kanye. Yeah, don't vote for Kanye. If your <laughs> ballot has his name on it, please don't do it. And don't write him in. Also, Just, move states. I think it's in, like, Wyoming, Minnesota, and, like, other places. Kansas or something. Kansas or something. Yeah. Um, Go somewhere better. But also, I will say... Universal should should sell Kanye his his masters. That's yes. been a thing he's been on about. Kanye West should own his masters. Yeah. He absolutely should. If he was president, he would. Does Tiger Woods own his masters? Um. Anyway, uh, the jackets they yeah. keep them all in the <laughs> same <laughs> locker. Uh. All right, Kendrick Lamar, another. He's, he's not really guy. throwing his hat in the ring. No, 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 no. Yeah. Not for president, but oh, I'm yeah. saying, like, he's a political guy. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Probably the most serious content creator, or, like, serious lyricist we've talked about yet. That's true. Heaviest content. Heaviest content, most political M- content. M's some heavy content, but oftentimes... That's like gratuitous. Mon- <laughs> it's like monster can type yeah. of stuff. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Uh... Yeah, I don't know. Kendrick is... I feel like I'm worried about he just disappear for a few years. He seems to do that. Yeah, and I'd hate to say it, but we're already tight enough with Israel. Oh, right. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Great, yeah. Uh, I'm just worried about we get him one term, and then he disappears for the second term, and he's, True, like, working yeah. on something, and then he comes back, and it's great, but it's like, where, where were, were you, <laughs> dude? It would uh, depend heavily on his VP, which, who knows? I mean... Maybe be like punch, punch, bit punch, punch, yeah, or Lucy. Oh no! <laughs> uh, I think Kendrick would be great though, if we could keep him keep him in the office. I think Kendrick, ten years down the line, has the potential to be a good presidential candidate. He hasn't really <laughs> done anything that is so no, outrageous, yeah. you know. I'm gonna give him an A. I think I like him for an A. A. That's fair. Does he does he deserve an S? In I the mean, context of this. In the context of this, I think so. Yeah, honestly. I think we have to. I think we're going to move him up to an S. Because, I mean, he and Cardi, I feel like he might even be better than Cardi. Yeah. Just and in terms of poise and stuff. Yeah, his poise is exactly what I was just going to say. Right. When he speaks, people listen. You're like, wait, he's talking. <laughs> right. I feel like his voice is quiet and raspy, though, and that might not age as well. Hmm. With the with the speeches, we're gonna keep him an S though. Well, he's got like yeah. sixty five years till he has to run, really. Sixty so. five? <laughs> How old is he? He's probably like thirty, right? Yeah, he's got at least what fifty years then till run. Yeah, that's true. He'd be eighty. <laughs> 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 well, that's what we're, that's that's what we're working with saying. now. So <laughs> we're whatever. Up next, a very presidential candidate here, <laughs> DJ Khaled. Maybe my favorite yet on the list. Yes. someone I would willingly. Vote into the office. Oh, Khaled, Khaled, President Khaled, Khaled. The major key. Major keys <laughs> to success for the nation. His son, all his kids. Oh, his son would be his VP, by yeah. the way. <laughs> or his ring bearer. What can the son do? What can you do the at a young The son age? is, uh, I think they're like the rightful heir to the throne. Really? Yeah, it's like a, that's how democracy works, right? I don't know. I think it's a bloodline. Yeah, oh, it's bloodline. Yeah, I think it's like a secret bloodline. Right. So Biden doesn't have any kids. No, he's a kid. We just think he looks old. I think. I don't know anything about <laughs> uh, I love this picture, though. Uh, perfect lineup. I know it's probably painted on based on the, the well, side-by-sides we've yeah, seen. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> Hawaiian shirt. Big plus for me. Big vibe. Like he's big, big happy vibe. Yeah. vibe. Dude, he would make the White House super fun. Yeah, he'd be like that. Imagine if they read it West Wing, but with DJ Khaled. Oh, and it was still yes. like Aaron Sorkin dialogue. Oh, that would be amazing. He'd be like... <laughs> <laughs> I feel like he would just film so many videos walking around and be like, look at the White House. Look at it. <laughs> Abraham Lincoln sat here. <laughs> yeah. Sat here. That would be so... He'd be like, expensive cloth. Mm-hmm. You know, for the fixating on the pageantry of the presidency, I think that caps him from being a, an S. Oh, he would not. He could not be an S. I feel like he's close. He's a B or an A. My only worry is that uh, too flashy. He's flashy, but he's also kind of like not in on his own joke. I think he is. I don't think he is. I have. I, I watched a Khaled interview or, or recently. He's a deeply he, anxious man. He's a very anxious guy. That doesn't mean he's not in his own jokes. I'm anxious, and I'm in on my own jokes. I know, but I think he's deeper (laughs) in the anxiety. I think it would make him a terrible president, honestly. Whoa. I'm just saying, I still want to give him He would have handled this pandemic wonderfully, because he's a big germaphobe. Yeah, he is a germaphobe. Hmm. 
Remember that time he got lost on his jet skis? Mm-hmm. That's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> Found his way back, though. Yeah, he did. That's uh, a great example of leadership right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I feel like as Americans, we've kind of all lost our jet skis these past few years, so <laughs> maybe we need to find our way back. Or law got lost on jet skis. This, this advertisement has been brought to you by <laughs> DJ Kelly. I put him in a B. All right, let's do B. All right, he's there with Jack and 50. Uh, <laughs> next. This is such a ridiculous <laughs> I know. Why, why are we doing this? All right. Uh, Lil Pump. <laughs> Lil Pump as president. Uh, I feel like he's made a lot of jokes about being the president, saying he's yes, run. That's true. Um, man, I'm trying to think of the last, like, really doped up president. I know Lil Pump's personality isn't just being doped up, but he always... Trump like, is very doped up. He's on the Adderall. Kind of on the opposite opposite wave. Right. That's Lil Pump. I like the idea of a president with a chain that says drug addict on it. Yeah. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> it is cool. Yeah. Yeah, that bumps him up off the floor for me. Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, I feel like by the time he's 35 and can run... His brain will be mush, like pudding, dude. Or he's a completely different person. Right. Like, he cycles around. I hope that for him, but you never oh, know. Yeah. Um, God, this would be bad. I think it would be bad. Let's go D on it. A solid D, yeah. Solid D for him? Okay. And the mu- maybe it saves his music career, but drives the country into peril. Oh, we would never survive it. We'd never survive four years of Lil Pump as the president. No. Oops. Like, All the right. psychopaths there are now that... Our ardent supporters. Imagine Lil Pump's ardent supporters. Oh my gosh, it'd be crazy. Yeah. Um, all right. Next one. They fill the pool in front of the Washington Monument with lean. That would be cool. <laughs> or at that least makes me want to bump them up a little bit. <laughs> Put them in a C. Come no, on. I can't, I can't do it. All right. <laughs> Mason Ramsey. Obviously, I knew he was going to be on this list of, of rappers. Course, rappers. Um, uh, <laughs> yeah. Really, just the country's darling already. Right. So I. He, he's in the A range for me. <laughs> I think he's an S, dude. <laughs> Mason Ramsey is an S tier presidential candidate. He's <laughs> he's got the swag. He's got this vibe down. He's got the smiles down. The yeah, he does one. both. He does the spin. Yeah. He's kind of like you know. He's like every. Like, rich white parents, kid that they bring to a party, they're like, do the thing. <laughs> and he does that, and they're like, no, 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 the singing. And, and then, then he, he starts sings. yodeling, you know. And he's just like this, and he slicks his hair over. It'd be our first child president. I hope he keeps the bow tie thing going until presidency, too. You have to. He's got the blazer, but he's got the bow tie. <laughs> Talk about a true American, too. <laughs> just so He's ass. You're right. You're right. And the other thing about him, true, is he is politically active because he did that Burger King campaign about the cow farts and environmental and stuff. And yeah. He believes in global warming. That's a yeah. step up from anybody we're, we're <laughs> we looking at. <laughs> so, you know, I think he's an S tier. Okay. Shout out to Mason. I can't argue with that. And I got a feeling he could pick, like, Miley Cyrus as his VP. I was thinking Casey Musgraves. Yeah, that'd be cool. That'd be cool. Next. The Stallion. Megan the Stallion. Ooh. Talk about another lit White House. Yeah, lit-ass White House. Uh, I think, I mean, she would definitely, it goes without saying. Persuasive. It goes without saying she would twerk on the, on the Oval Office desk. Is that right? Sure. Is that I right? Like, I feel <laughs> like, question mark. Is that, is that cool to say? No, it'd be like the first dance. You know how, like, whenever the president gets elected, they go out and Do dance. they do that? Yeah, they dance with their significant other, like, in the... Like, whatever, in the respected convention. Oh, okay. And so she'd be but twerking she'd be, with whoever she's up. dating at yeah. the time? That would be sick. Um, I feel like she's got that, like, boss woman mentality mm-hmm. that we do definitely need. Yes. I feel like she wouldn't want to run. That's what I would say. No, but if somehow forced into the position, I think she'd be maybe more capable than the majority of people on this list. I think she's a solid A. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, just powerful. She's got a. Yeah. Big, she's got that big personality. She definitely feels like again pers- persuasive, confident. Persuasive, yeah. She's definitely not going to like cave under pressure. She can obviously deal with with some tough situations right. as we've seen recently. Yeah, conflict. So, yeah, she's got a level head. I like. Yeah. I like where she's at. I'm going to give her an A. Again, I would follow her blindly into war. Yes. All right. Trade war. Next, Machine Gun Kelly. I thought that was it. Never mind. Um, <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, MGK. I hate that we said all, a lot of presidents from Ohio were good. Oh, yeah. But I'm imagining. I'm kind of an, analyzing these as if they're already happening. Like, we're in the midst of this presidency. Gotcha, yeah. And, like, 
this is a bad representation of Ohio and the country in general. Yeah. Um, he's a hothead. That's a huge <laughs> problem. Uh, he's also, you know, he he thinks taking drugs is, like, a cool thing, which, like, I understand <laughs> that there are people on this list who think that. Sure. But, like, the way he portrays it is very mm-hmm. ugly to me. Yeah. Like, he's very much, like... I was on shrooms. <laughs> like, I don't <laughs> care. Like, he tries to see that as, like, like proving his recklessness. Yeah, or I didn't even, like, mean to take him, but I, like, I took him. <laughs> you like, I was on fucking shrooms with Pete Davidson, and then we took acid, and then we took Molly. <laughs> we watched all the Star Wars <laughs> and we backwards. Ate, we ate chicken wings in a hotel room. Like, <laughs> like I just don't want to deal. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to deal with it. Yeah. I will say uh, points for being tall. And tran- like, uh, he'd be the tallest president of all time. He's adaptive too. Oh uh, yeah. Like obviously, he, this is former rapper Machine Gun Kelly. Oh yeah, he's an actor now. Yeah, he Colton, could, actor, rock star, really whatever you wanted to be. And if we're looking at the Oval Office, as sometimes we all have a tendency to do as a puppet. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. He could might be good at that. That's true. Uh, Colton Baker also seems like it would fit in with the other president names. You know, yeah, Colton Baker. It's like President Colton Baker. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm F, F, F for me, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think still F. I think all of that stuff that we just oh. said doesn't really matter. It's an F. F for all intents and purposes. All right. And I worry about gun control too. The guy's name is Machine <laughs> Gun Kelly. <Yeah. laughs> Come on. Yeah, that's crazy. I'm always worried about gun control. <laughs> Next, we got NLE Chapa, aka NLE Chakra. Uh, <laughs> he uh, recently took a hippie turn mm-hmm, as we plant based god. Yes, somebody <laughs> the plant based god. I like that. Uh, somebody gave him woke juice or whatever, and so now I think that's pronounced kombucha. <laughs> kombucha. He's talking about like talking to his water mm-hmm. and how everything's alive, which. In theory, I can get behind, but, I mean, the dude's 17, yeah. and all of a sudden, he's like, I'm not going to wear jewelry, uh, I something about music festivals. Grew up fast. Yeah, he grew up really fast. Like, past the, like, the human adulthood and went straight to, like, post-life ethereal bliss. Right, like the 40-year-old at Bonnaroo. Yeah, um. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely feel like we're going to see him in a drug rug soon. Oh, I can't wait. I want to see that. Um, if he makes a like a reggae turn or starts making like psych rock, that'd be cool too. Dude, <laughs> Snoop Lion and Ellie Choppa on something. Or dude, what if it what was if he like, changed it to LSD Choppa? <laughs> <laughs> or what about this? MGMT Choppa. And he does a whole collab <laughs> thing with them. Yeah. Uh, that being said, uh, I'm not seeing great things out of this No, I think D tier. Yeah, in the yeah D tier range. D tier is definitely where because I think it's good that he's woke. Yeah, but it's also dangerous. It's bad that he <laughs> made such a sudden change into a new lifestyle. Volatile personality, right? And that's part of be- growing up. Maybe right. he'll he'll settle into like a like a really woke, a- accomplished thirty five year old man who just like you know <laughs> he's got a lot of poise, got a lot of money probably by then too. Yeah, hopefully. But again, the gun control thing is an issue. His name's Anneli Chapa, so. or LSD Chapa. Well, that whichever. <laughs> All right, you definitely so, see him doing that after watching this video. Let's do D tier. All right, next. Uh, Post Malone, bald posty. <laughs> bald uh, post is the president we're voting for here. Yeah, it's gotta be bald. It's not gotta, long hair, bald. Not long hair post. Who knows by the time he's eligible? True. But, um, yeah, a lot, a lot of face tattoos for the president. Pretty country. Um, I do think that it might be a problem that it says always tired on his face, just in terms of in terms of foreign policy, how people yeah. view us, you know, and inspiring the masses. Yeah. Which I guess he's having decent success doing, but it's singing. You take away his singing voice, and he's got to talk to you. It's not easy to look at. Mm, I like him. I think he's a cool. I think he's a nice looking guy. He is kind of interesting. He's got like, a big smile. He does have a big smile. He also wears more American flags than anybody on this list. So backed by the Budweiser Super Pack. Bud Light Super Pack. That's gonna be <laughs> huge. Um, I feel like trillions of dollars. <laughs> I feel like Rogan might get behind him too. You know? Oh, okay. Yeah. No, I can see this community like. And I also think that like <coughs> the whole kind of bridge urban and uh, rural too. That's true, but I was more so talking about like the way that presidential candidates are now kind of like thinking of the podcast lane as a way mm-hmm. to actually reach a lot of people. 
that he's got a lock on. He yeah. loves like he like he loves, loves tell, all the podcasts. He's telling like, stories. He's on like H three and he's on Rogan and he you know he chops it up. He also does do drugs a lot too though. He really likes the psychedelics, mm-hmm. which some people would argue is good for a president. I would argue is very bad for a president. I think he'd be good at running for president, is what we're deciding. Yeah, he'd be he'd a cool be, campaign guy. Yeah, he'd be great on the on the campaign, but when he got in the office, might get a little too inside his own head. Dude, him and Bruce on stage, him and Bruce Springsteen, just being like, yeah! Flags. Oh, uh, everywhere, yeah. Spuds. He would probably, like, run a campaign that would get a lot of people to vote Attention, for him. Yeah. yeah. But as He's a president... everything Kid Rock, wi- like, sh- could have been. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Kid Rock with a moral compass. That's well kind of said, what... Yeah. yeah, well said and well taken. Uh, I think we should go with a B for him. B, yeah, B's fair. B's cool. Uh, all right, next we Definitely got... Definitely better than that Mickey Mouse. I hate They keep writing guy. him in, I know. <laughs> Next, Skrillex, another, another rapper. Another awesome rapper with <laughs> another rapper. amazing discography of raps. Um. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, what do we think of Skrillex as president? Sonny, rather. <laughs> I don't know. I've never even heard Skrillex talk. You've never heard him talk? <laughs> no. I don't remember what he sounds like, <laughs> truly, but I, I remember what those wubs sound like. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> him, like, just speaking through wubs. Like, right. they walk in the office and it's, <laughs> Mr. President, you're, <laughs> okay, okay, He's okay. got subwoofers all over the Oval <laughs> Office. That'd be sick. And he used to be in that pop punk band. And he's got that haircut. All of these are big pros for This me. rave community, though. They stay up late. They're all mm. strung out. He's not... Nobody works. It's all just dance, dance, dance. Dance, dance, dance. <laughs> Skrillex is one of those guys, though, who's kind of like behind the scenes of a lot of big pop music over the last 10 years. I think he's got a lot of so he's intellect. A coordinator. Yeah, he's like a, he's like a, he's a smart, like an innovator. Savvy. He's, yeah, he's, but he's very smart. That's what I'll say about him. Yes! Oh my god! That's all I'll say about him. <laughs> okay, uh, what are we going with here? Let's C. Just, yeah, let's just, I feel like that would just look nice there. Yeah, a solid C for Skrillex. Solid C. And I feel like it's like, couldn't even piss everyone off. They'd be like, man, yeah. better than the last guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, next. 6 9 Oh, my favorite candidate? Yeah. <laughs> right. Uh, I feel like this would just kind of be the same as what we got now. Kind of like someone who just caves under any sort of pressure. Yeah, caves and also... A kleptocrat. Very... What's that mean? Oh. It's like he's like a mobster type politician. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Kleptocrat. I like that. Um, (laughs) Thank you. I feel like I might go by that. Kleptocracy. Yeah, okay. (laughs) Uh, I just feel like it's just the same. Like, we'd just be be Trump with face tats. Like, he's just going to be a narcissist. (laughs) He's going to only really care about himself. He's going to obsess over the numbers. He's going to be like, they don't want me to win. Everybody's against me. It would just be awful. Yeah, but I don't... Yeah, he'd be bad. He'd be bad. Like, he'd get pressured into doing things. He does have a nice smile, though. He does. Danny has a nice smile. Danny has a nice (laughs) smile. Um, Yeah, I'm going to go F tier on this, though. F. F. All right. A rat and a cheat. (laughs) (laughs) Next. Tom McDonald. Tommy Mac. Oh, man. Oh, (laughs) another Canadian. Another Canadian cannot run. (coughs) Uh, Also, his chin really says hog. (laughs) Yeah, it's hangover gang. That's what it stands for. So the hangover gang super pack would be huge. That'd be a big Mm -hmm. thing. The YouTube rap community would really form around him. Yeah. You know? Obviously. And his like to dislike ratio has gotten a lot better over the years. So I feel like he'd have some real time support because these are politically active people. And he wouldn't, he would really know like... He'd cut the fat off everything. He just says everything so straight up. There's, mm-hmm. like, no suggestion to anything. It's no. just, like, dry and boring. And oh, yeah. He has no, like, tax, no yeah. point, no sarcasm, no... Maybe that'd be good for us. Maybe that would be good for us. Like he'd just tell us how it is. But at the same way. time, what he says, the content yeah. of what he says is awful. Yes. And the way he goes about it. Honestly, if someone wrote his speeches, though... Uh-huh. Again, I'm picturing him as a puppet or a mouthpiece, as mouthpiece, they say. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I will say uh, about the whole, like, considering the Skrillex thing, he mm-hmm. also has the haircut. Right. Which I think is a big pro. Yeah. He's got that haircut. Kind of back to revolutionary era. It's almost like the wigs. Yeah. Every president should have a Skrillex wig. From now on. Big pony. Yeah, just like the side thing. Half the, <laughs> and they have to have like a, a, a tat on the other side too. That if we can sick. get Tom McDonald in a Skrillex wig, 
I'm I'm down to throw him in a B. You're down to throw him in a B? Yeah, we've never shown Tommy this kind of love. No, there's no way he could be a B. I feel like he's got to yeah, be right. he's, a, he's a D. D. He's a D. <laughs> D. <laughs> there we go. All right, and uh, I do have a little bridge joke I think you're going to like. A, a caveat? Lot. No, it's a bridge joke oh, okay. from this guy to the next. Okay, here we go. We went from Tom McDonald to Mr. McDonald's. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, uh, Mr. McDonald's, Travis, Scott. Wow. Obviously capable of pulling off huge deals. Huge deals. But we've learned that being a good deal maker is <laughs> so great. I trust Travis more, though. He's a negotiator. Yeah. He's kind of quiet. Artistic. He's artistic. Uh, quiet until, like, given the opportunity not to be. He's also a real rager. A real rager. A real rager. Yeah. And that's a big That's a big thing. You know? And he's kind of a cactus. Yep. Right? <laughs> yeah, that's like his, yeah, yeah. He's like intertwined with the cactus. Uh-huh. And his name is, by the way, you said it wrong. His name is Jacques Webster. Jacques. Which would fit in. I mean, it sounds very French, I will say, but, I mean, he would fit in as a Jacques president. Webster. President Jacques Webster yeah. makes sense. It does. I don't know, dude. I think I'm I'm pulling for Travis. I feel and the like, way he can get the youth. I could see a big youth turn out here. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, and another thing just... You know, the White House, I feel like he would have a mosh pit on the lawn type of mm, vibe type going on. Yeah. Different than anybody else we've seen so An far. An auto tuned oath of office read. Right. That's, yeah. All that's the important. usual Travis jokes. Yeah, that's important yeah. too. So, uh, that's what we'd need. And he's used to, he's got the Air Force One deal, so he's kind of used to probably flying the plane. They fly the plane, right? The mm-hmm. shoes? No, the president flies, flies the, the plane. plane in the shoes. Yeah, he's just so. used to the Air Force Ones. Yeah. All right, let's go for let's go for a B. A. A. Come on, baby. Whoa. All right, let's do it. He's an A. You know it too. All right, fine. Travis is an A. Next, the beautiful and stunning Tribune. <laughs> <laughs> uh, another Ohio, Ohio <laughs> which gives him a big leg up. We're both from there, but also you know just Great. statistically yeah. most presidents. So, um, <laughs> he's he's you know he's got something. That laugh of his. I think Trippy Red would be a really good president. You think so? Yeah. Really? He's not. I don't think he'd get power hungry. Oh, really? I do. Uh, I don't know. I think he'd handle it. I don't know. He'd be a wild card. I am. I never really know what Trippy Red is going to do. It's never super out there yeah. to me. I mean, other than how he looks, but like, <laughs> he just kind of like. <laughs> He's just kind of, just a weird guy. Like he just gets on like Instagram Live and just starts cackling. Like laughing as and, and smoking a million backwoods and like I could see him working well with Congress. Bipartisanship. Wow, you're seeing a lot in him that I don't quite see, <laughs> but um shout out to Canton, Ohio and Yeah, mostly it's the Ohio thing boosting my confidence for him. And his voice too is so beautiful. His voice is great. It's yeah. It's beautiful. And Big Fourteen does know what the fuck going on <laughs> in the world, I think. So True, and we need I'm so sorry. He's got, that, by the way, he's got like devil play too. Oh yeah, which we need in the and, office. Well, I think it's our. I think it's like just a part of it. <laughs> it's used to it. Yeah, so it's, he's like used to the goat meetings and like the all that. They're like the eyes wide. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that whole deal. So he'd be used to the layer that they show him. They'd be like, he'd be like, ah, yeah, like, this oh, is I've been to this club. Kind of what my room looks like. <laughs> <laughs> all right, yeah, I agree with that. We're we're. I'm gonna let you put him. S S. Give him a S. Dip. fucking S. <laughs> all right, trippy. Big <laughs> Steer president. <laughs> Next, Uzi. Oh, this is another S. You think Uzi's an S? He'd do like a little presidential dance instead of saying the shoulder something. thing. The Uzi shoulder. I think he'd be the the cutest president so far. <laughs> yeah, probably. He fit in with their heights too. Presidents are historically very short men. Is that true? Yeah. It's because the podium makes them tall. I think it's just like the short man syndrome. It's like you just go for power. power. You just go go for power. power. Yeah, you know Mm -hmm. what I mean? Um, They got to make up for it with the ego and all that stuff. Wow. That does make sense. Dude, he has the coolest cars. If he had those cars parked on the lawn, he would swag out the office (laughs) too. The Secret Service would be like wearing like anime jackets and yeah. they have like swords and machine guns on them he's so good with kids too when he yeah. talks to kids I'm just like that's the cutest that made that just Mr. Adorable. President and like reading books to little kids oh my god that'd be so cool do they read those on like iPads and Kindles and shit now or do they keep they do the paper books I feel like they gotta do the paper books no I'm sure they got Kindles at some schools so it's gotta be iPads 
That's messed up. To the future, baby. <laughs> do uh-huh. iPads when you turn the page on them? Does it make a page turning sound? I think so, and I think there's a you no know, texture app where they make it makes it feel like the paper too. You're lying. I'm just so like, sure that, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's you just cool. feel the starch on the paper, you know. That's cool. And keep it going. Sometimes you get a paper cut from it too. Oh, <laughs> all right. Are we going S for Uzi? Uh, he's an S for me, and I don't see a reason not to put him there. All right, whatever. Hey, we're going S for Uzi. When he stands well. on all his money, he's like six six. That's true. He'd be a very tall president <laughs> at that point. That's a lot. He'd probably money. have more money if he was president too. And I mean, the pay is not amazing, but you know, they he always do those. They pay. do the back pocket deals right. and all that <laughs> shit. So all that normal corrupt <laughs> shit that people be on. All right, next we got Young Lean. Young Lean would be a bad president. You think so? Again with the drugs. I don't know if he's really beyond. He's not on that these days. I don't is think. Is Young Lean even American? No, I mean he's, he's from Sweden. Oh, he's Swedish. Yeah. So I mean, listen, this is right, all right, hypothetical. Right, whatever. I just didn't even know where he's from. I just think he would look cool <laughs> in a suit. Would he even wear the suit though? Yeah, of course. He would. Oh you yeah. Have to. He also wears like loafers and shit now. He's kind of like he's kind of classed up. Okay. But I mean, he was wearing that weird like see-through thing on the last album with all the stars over his face and the that green was kind of cool it was sick yeah it was awesome that, that would look cool. good that would look cool in the Oval Office but in this case I just think he would look nice he'd look like uh, he'd look like Sean Astin who you know? the hell Sean Astin Sean Astin is uh, Bob from Stranger Things and uh, Sam from Lord of the Rings that guy oh he'd look yeah. like that okay if he was in a suit <laughs> you know what I mean kind of I can, I, I can only picture him in Lord of the Rings. Dude, I want Sean Astin and Young Lean. Collab. Not even a collab. I just want to like take a picture of them together. Someday. Guys, do you mind if I just do a picture of you two? <laughs> I don't even want to get it. I hope we're at some Hollywood party someday where there's a <laughs> Venn diagram of people. Somehow it's Sean Astin and Young Lean end up at the same party, and I'm like, you two. <laughs> I got like a Kodak or whatever. Yeah. Um, Young Lean is a... Uh, I just don't see anything he would really... Offered me as a president. Let's go B on it. I'm just okay. I keep picturing him in the suit. Okay, I think that's the cool thing. Uh, all right, B tier for him. All right, we got our last one here. <laughs> Joe Biden in a yellow car. <laughs> uh, Joe Biden in a yellow car. Also in any car. In any car. Just Joe Biden <laughs> just is the Joe last Biden. one. Um, Joe Biden as a rapper. Yeah, Joe Biden as a rapper. As a president, what do you think? S tier. S tier? S tier due to competition. Okay, because I was going to say, <laughs> I do not feel comfortable putting him in S tier, mm. but I would say that he's a solid C tier president, <laughs> presidential candidate, and we're dealing with Fs. All lower across, than lower that. than yeah. Fs. We are talking like Bilderberg meeting yeah. style. Problem. So. For this, for the K, you know, because of the context of this, we're going to put Joe Biden in an S, even and though we all know he's not truly an S, but <laughs> we got to vote for him. I hope I can watch this video in two months and be like, ha, ah, remember? Remember when we picked the actual we, president? We picked him. <laughs> Hopefully that's the president. All right, yeah. Everybody, uh, please vote for Joe Biden. <laughs> please you do just it. have to do it. If you are of age, please do it. Mm-hmm. Um, get out there and register. Get out there, register to vote. Other than that, this is our very hypothetical, <laughs> very <and> politically charged, <laughs> politically charged tier list of rappers if they were presidents. So let us know which ones you agree with, which ones you disagree with, who you think rapper wise would be a good president. Yeah, you know, or musician wise, greater maybe someone that's just never been a politician, or your homie. Yeah, or let your us homie. Know which one of your friends would be a good president? Yeah, because I personally feel like Graydon would. You're probably like a. B tier. Thank you. Mostly because you're handsome. Thank you. I don't think you know very much. Thank you, Mr. American. <laughs> I'll always have your back. That's, like that. I like that. Uh, <laughs> I would say pros, handsome. Mm-hmm. Tall, too. Okay, there's other two pros. Cons, not super smart. And whippets. I do whippets? A lot. See, that's the thing. Every full moon, I don't remember anything till the next week. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. As Mason Ramsey says. <laughs> this tier. Catch us on BBC next time. Yeah, or the news. Um, <laughs> the news. Is it the news? Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought Real you were talking news. about... Oh. Never no. mind. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, this has been Hive Mind TV. Make sure you like the video. Subscribe if you want to see more. And thank you for watching. Bye. We'll see you in the next one. <laughs>